All right, guys, welcome back. So this is an example I've set up, I've animated. This is a pendulum. So we talk about the hips being the bouncing ball. And now we're going to animate the hips and then see what the upper body does. And the example we're going to use is this pendulum model we got here. So you can see this simple model. It's got a face on it. Really cool model. So I'm going to play this. I've animated to it, but check out the animation on this. The roots moving first. And then when it stops, it follows, right? Now what I've done, I've flipped the pendulum. It's normally the other way around from the heavy, from the top down. I flipped it because I want you to think of this as the hips. This is the hips, the face. So I've just turned it upside down. And then this is the spline, a uh, spine, sorry, spline, splining. These are all the vertebrae, basically. There's three of them. It's, most rigs are very simple. You, my rigs, you have three or four controls in the upper body, which is standard nowadays. So if I should really think about this, like the main center of gravity is moving first and look how this is being dragged back now, right? So this curve is being dragged back. And when it stops, then there's the drag and settle movement that's happening. That's basically, in a nutshell, that's what you're doing with the upper body. That's all you're doing. In the front scene, you know, the, in, in the front, it might be going this way as well. Same thing. It's just going on a different axis. That's all it is. But this side is just an example to show you, breaking it down. Now, what I've done, I've applied this to the model, and I'll be showing that. So if I just unhide there, okay? And now if you look at this now, same thing. This is the root, and these... Area, these sp spine controls here and the head, that's controlling. That's basically these controls here. And all I've done, I'll just copy the animation over. And if you have a look, what I'll do, what I need to do is unmute everything first. So if I come here, unmute selected, and this one as well, was it? Yeah, okay. So if you look now, it's exactly the same thing I'm doing, and you've got that overlap as well because I offset the keys. So that's basically, this example is just to show the root and the spine, how it's connected to the pendulum, how we can simplify the understanding of how the body works. It's really simple when you break it down. So that's what we're trying to do with these examples, just breaking down how the body works. Like in animation, we talk about simple shapes. Also, this as well, simple controls. That's all you're doing. And all I did was I animated these. So if I select all of these controls here, I literally just, if you can see in the graph editor here, I animated up to the point where it's going to stop. Then there was, so I animated it, just rotating back to the point where it's going to stop. And where it stopped, I just animated it forward and then going back. So they were all on the same frame. All I did was go on each, each of the axes and just offset it by one frame or two frame. See? So it happens one after the other. That's how you get that kind of drag and overlap. And I did it on the head as well. The head is, over, head is offset as well. So then it stops last, you can see there. So this is just a video to show you the understanding of the spine and the pendulum. And then now we will also show you the arm so I'll show you the arm as well, how it, that relates, but we're gonna rotate the pendulum around. So what we'll do, we'll uh, just rotate this around. So we'll just go here to and zero that, and also zero the Y, so we're bringing it down. That's how the pendulum normally is, right? And we're rotating it the wrong way, so we'll just flip it the other way. So what I'll do, I'll get these. All I'm gonna do here now, you'll see, I'll select all the Y's and I'm literally just selecting everything, press R, again go to the start here and just flip it the other way around like that. Hopefully this should work now. So there, you see? That's how quickly you can edit it. And then what we'll do here is we'll just delete everything here. Again we'll come in here, we'll just delete everything. and then put a keyframe at the start. And then what I'll do here, I'll get rid of the head. Okay, so now what we're doing here, again, we'll just copy this. 
So we'll copy all this animation. So edit, copy. And we're going to do the same thing for the arm. So we'll come here and just edit, paste. So we've got the animation. Well, we should have had the animation, but it's not on there. But what happened there? Is it muted? It's not muted, is it? No. What we'll do... Okay, we'll do that again. You guys have seen it. I know I copied this over, man. Copy. Let's go to this. And paste. Yeah, we got it there. Okay, but we need to bring it back here. That's where we want it. All right, so this arm is moving now too, right? You can see. Now, why is this one uh, 24? That's why. Yeah, that's better. And then all we're going to do, same as last time, we don't really need that one actually. We can hide that. So if we select all of these controls, again, we go to the rotation Y here, select everything. Go to copy, make sure your timer is at zero, copy. And then literally, we're just going to select these controls here. Keep Keyframe at the start. And we just want to see the axes here, like what axes? Okay, so we know it's Y, so that's cool. So if we go to Y, it should copy and paste all the animations. And then we'll just cycle this. And... Yeah, see, it's again, the same example we're using. And then you can obviously animate right down to the fingers if you'd like. But that's overall, the difference in this one is the arm is, the root is at the top. So imagine that as the hips, and then this is the spine, and this is the lower spine. Exactly the same concept, but with the hips going up, the pendulum was reversed going up. So this is, these are the key things. And the same thing with legs. You've got your legs up here. When you're doing IK, normally, sorry, when you're doing FK, you will have those, uh, it will be like this. But when you're doing IK, obviously it's like, you know, you're either pulling or pushing. Legs are normally in IK. You, you, you'll notice inverse kinematics and forward kinematics. You can learn a lot more about that on my foundations course, the different types of ways we can switch our controls, inverse and forward kinematics. It goes into much more depth, but it's exactly the same thing. So these are the main keys. So if we're breaking the body down into simple bits like this, it's easier to understand. So that's, that's in a nutshell, how you need to think about was well, one way of helping you think about the body parts in simple forms. Think of the shoulder top area as the root working this way down. This is going to drive the motion. Then the elbow is going to follow, then the wrist. It will make your animation more organic as well and natural. That's what you're looking for. And always come back to the pendulum for that. And for the hips, it's just reversing the pendulum from the bottom up. And you can keep it this way for the bottom down for the legs. All right, guys, so that's a simple. Get your models and you can find the links for these models and just practice this stuff. Just get the pendulum, move it around, move the controls below around. And just enjoy practicing these kind of things. Even this exercise here you can practice. Okay, guys. So I'll see you in the next lesson.